do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. Alright y'all, we back with another big body banker, you feel me? Listen, today, we got something a little different. We got this girl, this lady, you know what I'm saying, who, who got caught sleeping with a bunch of people's husbands. Like, she, she be doing the clappers for a lot of people's husbands. These unfaithful, no good husbands. I, I don't know what exactly the video is about, but I guess she's going to be talking about her experiences with them or what's happened like if she got caught in all this stuff, I don't. I really have no idea. But this is you gotta be a sick person to specialize in clapping married men. But you have to. Did you wake up one day like, yeah, I want to be a professional home wrecker? You know what I'm saying? Like, is that something that just like popped into your head one day? Like, yeah, I'm just gonna do that. I feel like that's my passion. I feel like that's what God put me on this earth to do. Like, is, do you feel that in your heart, or is it just kind of a thing that you know what I'm saying? Pay the bills past time or whatever the heck it is now that's super wild to me personally me right i wouldn't let that slide <laughs> i honestly don't even know what that's from people been saying that on tiktok or something recently and i don't know where it, I, I don't even know where that's from i don't even know why i just said that because that would never even happen to me because i'm a lower black man black man black men don't cheat but you guys already knew that black boys might cheat but black men like myself we do not cheat but we're gonna watch this video. If you're excited for the video, smash the like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And hit the post notification bell so you can be notified when, whenever I drop these bangers. You know what I'm saying? Call yourself a Jurag. You can buy two and third free. You can bundle up to yourself $50. We got the best Jurags in the entire game. But you knew that already. I don't have to keep saying the things that you, are no, you already know. That's like me keep telling you, yo, two plus two is four. You knew that. That's the same thing as me saying, call yourself a Jurag. We got the best Jurags in the game. You like, Bro, I already knew that, bro. I'm just saving up for it. I'm waiting for my grandma to come so I can come take a credit card and buy all the jewelry rags in the world. It's okay, bro. I'll, I'll wait patiently for you to tap in and get a nice little jewelry rag on your head so you'll stop complaining about being ugly and not getting no girls or something. Anyways, man, we're finna hot right into this video. I'm not gonna pause it at all. Y'all know how we do it. Let go. Some things I've learned being an escort, sleeping with people's husbands. So she's an escort. I'm not pausing. I just got to explain it to y'all. So, so I don't I, I don't think everybody knows what an escort is, right? So an escort is a sophisticated prostitute hooker, okay? So basically what that means is that she necessarily doesn't sleep with the people on 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 paper. But she's people pay, like dudes pay escorts to just like chill with them. Like they'll pay an escort to go on a date with them or just go to the movies with them or hang out with them. And then if you got the big bucks, you slide them a little couple of hundred dollars, they go do the extra things. Give you a nice little happy ending. So that's basically what an escort is for the people that don't know what it is. But it's not it's not Some a prostitute. Like being an escort, sleeping with people's husbands. <laughs> mm. You can do better. He can do more for you. He's just doing it with other women. He's comfortable. You let him be comfortable. He loves the kids and he doesn't want the kids taken away. And that's one of the main reasons why he's saying these kind of men need carers. Nine times out of 10, they're the irresponsible parent and you're the responsible one. They need someone to hold them down at home so they can go out and be crazy and do all the things they want to do and then come home to you because they know that you've got their back and they need that grounding. They do love you, but with conditions. Not all men cheat. Majority of men have fantasized about it, but there is a percentage that they know it's not worth it. They know it's the hunt that they want. The, per the percentage that she's talking about, there's a percentage of people that have not even fantasized it or haven't even cheated. That's black men. Like I was explaining to you guys, black men, we don't cheat. That's the percentage she's talking about. If you didn't know. They know it's not worth it. They know it's the hunt that they want, not the catch. And they've already caught you. So that's why they're hunting. Or well, they want to. If they couldn't pay for it, they wouldn't get it. They think that everyone wants them. They don't. <laughs> I don't want your man. I do want his money. You can do better. They are scared. These men are scared. They are scared to communicate and say exactly what it is they want or what they're fantasizing. They are scared. They are little boys. 
if they do leave you, they're not leaving you for someone better. They're leaving you for someone easier. I'm easy. You pay me and I am yours. There is no work to be done. It's an illusion. Small majority are very lovely, have big hearts. Some of them have mental illness. No, pretty much majority of them have mental illness. And sleeping with a younger, hotter woman is a way of validating themselves when they really could just go home to you and communicate, talk, be validated by you. They think their woman won't leave them. They do. They should. They're love bombers. If you feel like they're cheating, they're cheating. If you feel like they're lying about something, they're lying about something. If you can't... Okay, I'm... A lot of things she said is pretty much facts. Uh, okay, <laughs> like... Now that I'm, I'm thinking about it, I'm listening, right? She's... She... She has a lot of experience. This is pretty... This is pretty much facts of the people that go... Like, people that hire hookers, people that hire escorts, people that hire prostitutes. This is exactly... What this is exactly how I imagine them thinking. You know what I'm saying? Like they like how she start off in the beginning by saying bada bada boom. They 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 um they the only reason they're staying with you is cause they don't want to lose the kids. You know what I'm saying? The they like the hunt, they don't like the prize of the hunt, they just like to hunt. You know what I'm saying? They already got the prize, which was you, so now they 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 craving the hunt again, even though they they like the prize that they have, but they still want to hunt again. I can, I can see these, and then she's talking about the mental illness. These people, the people that get prostitutes and hookers, they mentally ill. There's something wrong with them. And also that whole thing that she was saying about these dudes be needing to sleep with younger girls to validate themselves. That's a hundred percent facts. Cause these old men be weirdos and losers and know they're nobodies, so they need to pay somebody to make them feel like a somebody. You get what I'm saying? So she kind of make it. She, I'm understanding where she's coming from. Like, like there's a couple points that I wish I can go back to. Maybe I'll do it after the video. But she has a lot of experience. She probably has a hundred million billion bodies to get this much information out of dudes. She probably has a hundred million billion bodies. She has the most bodies in the entire world, and that's just a fact. So, can't have an open discussion with your partner about these fears. I mean, if you can't talk to your partner about these things, like, are they really your partner? Or do they look at themselves like a prisoner? <laughs> Women rule the world. Without us, they'd be, they'd be nothing. And they know that. And that's why they lie, they manipulate, they cheat, they gaslight, and they love bomb. They need to keep you at bay from reaching your full potential, which is leaving their fucking sorry ass. Yeah, I guess. Well, the whole women want run the world. I don't know if that's accurate. I think it's 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 a. Uh, um, I'm not even gonna get into that because I don't want to hear y'all stupid voices inside the comments. It, 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 I don't think women run the world, and I'm gonna I'm not gonna say dudes run the world. It's it's a system, you know what I'm saying? And different genders have different strengths in ruling the world. If that makes sense. I, I, maybe I'll make a video about that later, but y'all gonna be like, oh my god, this man is. Shut up. I, I don't care at all. But what she was saying about these people are pathetic and you deserve better 100%. This goes for guys and girls. If you're being cheated on, you deserve better. No one deserves to be cheated on. If somebody cheats on you, they do not love you as much as they say they love you. Because if you love somebody, you're not going to cheat on them. Especially repeatedly and over and over and over again and fantasizing about it all the time. Like she said, a lot of the things that... That a lot of things that these people are seeking, these these old men, these old cheating husbands are seeking. And I keep saying old men. It don't, don't got to be old people. It could be like whatever age. But these cheating people, a lot of things that they're seeking, that they're cheating for, could be easily resolved. They just have that conversation with their partner. Like if they, let's say something like, yeah, I want you to, I don't know, something. Let's see something like kinky. I don't freaking know. Suck my toes or something. I don't freaking know. If that's something that the person wants and they really, 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 really want this, but they're scared to talk to their partner about it, they're going to go. They think it's easier to go and find somebody else to do it. You know what I'm saying? Instead of trying to convince their partner or express themselves and open up to their partner about that. So that'll cause them to cheat. I'm not, I'm not justifying none of this because you, if you're a little cheating idiot, you're a little stupid cheating idiot. And y'all know this. If you are a cheater, you are, you're stupid and, and you have no self control. Zero self-control. Control yourself. Dudes and girls, control yourself. It's not that hard to control yourself. <sighs> well, that's the end of the video. Honestly, like I said, she, she low-key spitting, spitting some facts. 
Like, I feel like she's, she's definitely slept with a lot of people to gather this information. Because it's either that or she's really good at reading people. Because, like, that's exactly how she was kind of pe- wording these people and, like, describing these people is exactly how I think about these people as well. Like, these, these, y'all be, I know y'all be watching the movies and stuff like that where it's like the, the dudes be cheating. They be married to their they wives for 10, 15, 20 years and they cheat because they feel. They feel like nobody wants them. They feel like their wife don't want them or whatever. So they go out looking to feel validated. You know what I'm saying? It, I don't know. It's weird. I don't know. But that's that. She maybe she just described it how Tyler Perry was making his movies. And maybe that's why I'm saying she know. Maybe she just watches Tyler Perry movies. Maybe she's a virgin. Maybe she knows nothing. Anyways, man. I don't know. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below, bro. Let me know if it's, y'all think that's facts about these old weirdos. And like I said, honestly, if you feel like. If you if you if you um, get cheated on, first of all, you don't deserve that at all. You deserve a hundred percent better. Second of all, do not cheat. Get some freaking self control. It's it's not that hard. I'm not gonna say it's not that hard, but get have self control. You control yourself, and there's multiple steps to cheating. It's not just poof. You end up inside somebody's daughter, or end up in some in somebody's son. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, that's not how it works. You don't just poof and you clapping somebody. It's so many steps to that. So stop the steps. You know what I'm saying? And don't even put yourself in that predicament. I feel like I'm making a, uh, uh, what's the, what's the rehab things for, for druggies, not druggies, for people who, um, addicted to stuff. I feel like I'm doing that. The three steps to not cheating. I need to make a book about that. Cause y'all folks need to stop cheating. This is ridiculous. But that's the end of the video. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. And I'm going to see y'all. Out. Ayo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly. Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline. They choose I, cause I'm way above you. The waves make the haters love you when the ladies come through.